I'm Anthony Hudson. We're ready for Saturday Night Football. Tonight, we're here at Doctor Stadium. Pretty warm day here for footy. And with me is legend of the game, Gary Lyon. Hi, Hutto. Always a pleasure to call a game with you. Tonight, it's Fremantle at home against the Saints. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Of course, Hannah. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the banners are ready for the players Captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. St Kilda wins the toss. Round 21. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. The opening siren is moments away, and you can feel the excitement building. Here we go. Wins the ruck duel. Ball collected. Abbott pushes his opponent off with one hand. Got hands to it. The ball spills. He gains possession. He drives it towards goal. He delivers with a drop punt. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Abbott. They draw first blood. Won it down. And now Walters. Collier gets in the way. Slams it onto the boot. The bounce made it tough. The kick connects with the post. Fremantle behind by five. Looking to bring it back into play. Savage kicks hurriedly. Dug out by Geary. Intervening brilliantly with Sherra. Akers hit the man hard. They can create from this. Hacking it out of there. Couldn't take it. Moves it by foot. Well collected. Loney does get the handball away. The loose ball picked up. He runs it over the line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Thump clear. Hughes short by hand. Doing well with the mark. A stab kick from Bakers. Great grab. Looks up with the kick. Darcy runs after this one. Webster quickly onto the boot. Gives away a free for in the back. Got boot to ball. Dunstan, the better man there. Goes by foot. Takes the mark. Looks to move it by foot. A race for the loose ball. Hamling with a short hand pass. Turned it over. Couldn't see off Butler. Great attack on the ball carrier. Abbott was taken high in the tackle. A chance to put one through here for St Kilda. Might be too far out to score. Kick by Phillips. Butler wins the mark in contest. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Short to goal up for St Kilda. Butler getting the crowd involved. St Kilda could kick the last two goals. The lead is now at 11. St Kilda are getting beaten at the coalface. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give themselves the best chance going forward. Giving it off for Tonka. Good mark. And looks to send it back. The kick from Jones. Bike earns a free kick. Moves the ball by foot. 
over the top of the pack. Kolya spears the ball. Good body work to win the mark. Chose to kick it. Just gave it away. Blakely collects it with quick hands. At full stride, receives the handball. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Carlo just goes bang. My ball, says the umpire. One down. Carlo finds possession. Loney with an easy mark. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. They continue to get beaten in this area, and they find it difficult to keep the lead. Hughes moves it now. Akers leading the race to the loose ball. Goes off the ground. Blakely rushes with the kick. Off hands from McCarthy. Law aims for his man on the ground. Great control there. The umpire will ball it up. Punches are clear. Dunstan can link up through hands. Fremantle, seen one home. Congratulated by his teammates. Fremantle, close the gap to five. One down by Law. Up for grabs for five. Finding the loose ball was McCarthy. Gresham wins the foot race. Dunstan running off for a break. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Law with a punch. He's got the football now. Quick handball. He wins possession. Abbott cuts it off. The ball spills to Walters. Dishes it off. He's got the footy in his hands. He takes aim. Fremantle finds a way to get that one through. That's his first. Pretty happy with that one. Fremantle have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The Dockers are in front. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Back in the middle now. Law with the hit. Difficult ball controlled. Walters clears the ball from the contest. Robertson gains possession. Handballs out into space. Scoops up the ball. He gives it a ride. Fremantle fans getting excited about that one. Hogan gets number two. Look at them celebrate that effort. Fremantle by seven points. Law does well. Five gets the ball. Mundy will be the recipient of the free. Tips it towards half forward. Chera dug it out. It's a free kick going the way of Fremantle. Chera elects to kick. They chase after the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Geary just gets it onto the boot. Patton couldn't keep his hands on it. Billings won himself a free. Billings, one out in the square. McKenzie gets on the end of this. Just sends it into space. He gains possession. Missed the target. Hughes releases the ball. Walters looking a bit sluggish out there. Decides to kick. Fremantle leading by seven as we go to the break. Fremantle came out and started well. They deserved the lead at quarter time. Let's have a closer look at the stats. St Kilda are giving up too much free space on the opposition. They're allowing them too much room and easy contested ball. Thanks for that, Gary. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Centre bounce. Winning it was Lobb. Hanover couldn't stick the tackle. 
stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. He gives chase to the footy. Cox wins the foot race. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Cox with the opportunity in front of goal. 25 metres out. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Cox wouldn't be happier with that goal. The margin is 13. Back in the middle now. Lord thumped it clear. Handball's out in front. The handball hits the target. Puts the handball out in front. Has it now. He just throws that ball. Goes with the kick. Picked up under pressure. A good job keeping it in play there. Webster coming off for a spell. And now we'll have a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we've seen right now. Sells a bit of candy. Patton goes by hand. Steele gets a quick kick away. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hutto. Drives the kick hard. Takes the mark all by himself. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Blasted inside the 50. They chase after the loose ball. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He's been superb today, Hutto. Finds a way to go along the ground. Loney enjoying that goal. It's under two goals now. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. St Kilda have struggled to get the ball forward or centre. Look at the inside 50 difference. They're getting well beat. Billings just throw it. Looks to move it by foot. Couldn't snaffle it. Use the hands and gives away the free. Puts it on the boot. McCarthy runs after this one. Free going the way of Jones. Looks up with the kick. Going for goal number one. Tabernard did well to win that ball. Distance no issue. It's all about the accuracy. He slams it towards goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Fremantle doing well at the moment. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. Just knew they were going to score. St Kilda are allowing the opposition too much room on the outside. They need to close them down faster once they break away. Darcy handballs out in front. Picks up the loose ball. Membry gathers it now. Gives it to Savage. The kick releases the pressure. Clean pickup by Steel. Seen plenty of it. Billings doesn't take the mark. Picking it up was Dunstan. Gets the loose ball. Butler collects the loose ball. The ball finds itself to the boundary. We'll get the ball tossed back into play. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Butler looking to put through another goal. Loney hangs on to that one. 15 metres out. Keep it on. Looking to kick goal number two. Loney loves that goal. St Kilda reduced the margin. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. St Kilda are playing a very controlling game. They're taking plenty of marks and denying the opposition possession. 
stands tall and marks. Hill pops to play on. Five takes a strong mark. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. They get around him after that effort. Fremantle with the edge right now over St Kilda. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. It'll be a ball up. Big thump from Long. Picked up by Fight. Wins the race to the ball. Brown, hurried kick. Takes it well. Now with a low spearing kick. A race for the loose ball. Gathers it now. Hit the man hard. Just got the hands in the back there. A spearing kick. Dug out the loose ball. Five drops the mark. Intercepted. Hill with the intercept. Goes by hand. Patton slips high and gives away the free kick. Conker keeps it moving. Quickly onto the boot. Marks now and can send it back. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Blakely needs a chance to rest. Uses it now. Collects the loose ball. He goes it alone. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Matera celebrates with the fans. Law hurls it away. Conker slams it onto the boot. Hill will be the recipient of the free. Sinks the slipper into it. The ball ends up with McCarthy. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. Finding the ball is Conco. A lot of possessions for him. Now they've got to sit up and find a way to stop the ball movement. Fremantle Clee is now 20. Carlo to bring it back into play. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Elects to kick. Brown marks it. Fremantle hold the lead as we head into the halftime break. The Dockers will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Anything you can see, Gary? The Dockers are controlling the position and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Thank you, Gaz. Players taking a much-needed rest as we prepare to launch into the third term soon. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. We resume hostilities. Thump by Glob. He's the number one ranked player on the ground. He's having a fantastic game. He's got the football now. Fends off the tackler. Sweeping handle. Cox doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. Going for goal number two. Gets some reward for his efforts. Fremantle have kicked the last three goals. 26 points the difference. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That's a really good team goal. Fremantle need to think more about the kick going forward. They're just bombing it in and it's getting cut off at the moment. Slips the tackle. Picked up by Webster. Law collects it. Hughes looks in need of a spell. Hughes just threw it. Chose to kick it. Mops up the loose ball. Packs it out of there. The ball mopped up. Soccer's the kick. Cleverly soccer's it up the ground for a goal. Matera celebrating hard. 32 points the difference. Back in the middle. Tap down. Taken by Glob. 
Ball ends up with Phillips. Handballs. Finds his man. Billings goes off the ground. Snaffle up by Hughes. Wants to keep it moving. The mark is taken by Hogan. He drives it. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Kick by... Easily takes the mark. Steele moves it now. Great mark taken there. Slams it on the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Cuts the kick inboard. A chance to gather the ball. Hamling just put it on the boot. Chera with the mark. He spears the ball. Great mark in the pack. Hogan goes with the kick. McCarthy does well to mark. He might kick a goal. He delivers with a drop punt. This kick has extended their lead. He's enjoying that goal. Fremantle could have kicked the last five goals. The margin is 38. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Fremantle have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Abbott throws the ball away. Goes the long option. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Jones drives the kick. A chance to reload the attack now. Uses it by foot. The ball spills free. Patton on the ball. Takes possession. Intercepts the ball well. The kick from Hamlin. Great mark under pressure. Works it across the ground. Hogan uses the body well. Fremantle for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Doing well to intercept that kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Hands that ball to the opposition. Membry there to mop up. Puts boot to ball. Patton hangs on to that one. 35 metres out. Got boot to ball. Robertson coming on. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Lyle thrashes it. Gets on the end of this. Dunstan is blowing hard after that effort. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Thrown in now. Slapped away. Opportunity for Membry. Tries to release the pressure. Is accepted. Looks with hands. and Kilda still hopeful of reducing this margin applying the physical pressure the umpire calls for a free kick a chance to put one through here for St Kilda 40 metres from home Butler needs to deliver a goal with this chance look at them celebrate that effort St Kilda, now only trailed by 31. Back with another centre bounce. Guides it down. Banfield hacking it out of there. A solid mark from Hill. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's results. Wilson applying physical pressure. Going for goal number one. Tabernard gets on the end of this. Well within range from here. Chance to put a second goal on the board. He loved that one. 
The lead is now 37. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. About to resume play. Darcy won the tap. Goes off the ground. Finds the loose ball. And we'll get a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Big tackle. Gets into some space to mark this. 45 metres out. Fremantle, happy about that one. Puts through his third goal. This kick stretches the lead. He's enjoying that goal. That's two in a row for Fremantle. How did you see the third term, Gas? Fremantle believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Anything to add, Gaz? The Dockers are winning plenty of the ball at the moment and it's allowing them to create plenty of scoring opportunities. Thanks for that, Gaz. One quarter of footy to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Abbott with a hit. Hill puts the handball out in front. Ball up in the centre square. Fremantle are getting first use from their Ruckman. Picks it up. Jones just threw it. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. A chance to reload the attack now. Webster pumps the ball long. Good grab there from Steele. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Geary got hands to it. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Membry controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Goes by foot. Mark by Butler. The distance might be just beyond him. Lining up from a 45 degree angle. Snaffle up by Loney. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Loney looks to convert this opportunity. 45 metres out. An opportunity for a third goal. A drop cut through the goals. Puts it through. Can that goal be the start of something more? Puts it through. Gets some reward for his efforts. Taps it down. Doing well was Abbott. Now it's a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Wilson puts it on the boot. Collier wins the ball in the air. Fremantle are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. The ball is coming back into play. Membry with a punch. Finding the loose ball was Akers. Butler has the ball. With the ball now. He couldn't hang on. Patton gives away a free for in the back. Demand tucks it into the pocket. Going for goal number three. They get around him after that effort. Looking to find a way back in this. We're back in motion. Wins the ruck duel. Abbott picks up the loose ball. Darcy quickly onto the boot. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Savage kicks out of the congestion. Marks now and can send it back. Moves the ball by foot. Chera failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. He gets his hands on the footy. And the ball trickles over the boundary. 
Ball tossed back in. Thrashes it. Matera comes away with the ball. Now we'll get a ball up. Darcy got in the better position. Carlo earns a free kick. Decides to kick. I haven't seen it for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Now we've got a ball up. Darcy gets it down. Used the hands and gives away the free. With a driving kick. Mundy has a great set of hands. 40 metres out. Bit of an angle for this kick. Goes for the goals. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Smiles all round. Margin getting dangerous now. He did really well there and gets the reward. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Fremantle can't kick him straight. If they don't start to take these opportunities, they can watch this lead slip away. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Ends up with Abbott. Wins possession. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. Hill sees off five. Lining up for goal number four. A good result there, and that's a goal for St Kilda. Butler lifts his teammates with that goal. He celebrates hard after that. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Fremantle have taken charge of the contested ball. It's allowing them to create their scoring opportunities. Almost cut it off. They can create from this. Gets the loose ball. Hurried kick. The mark is taken by Gresham. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Going for goal number one. Winning the ball in the air was Hamling. Hamling tucks it into the pocket. Collier found a way to mark that one. Goes with the kick. Finds this and marks well. Moves it by foot. Wilson picks it up. Manufactures the handball. Blakely just gets it onto the boot. Marked by Banfield. Fremantle have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Blakely was taken high in the tackle. Cuts the kick inboard. Dug out the loose ball. Butler throws the ball away. Looks up with the kick. Gearing scoops it up. He's got the footy in his hands. Billings manufactures a handball. Well taken at ground level. Gresham throws the ball away. Hamlin kicks hard along the boundary line. Deman takes the mark. Uncontested. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. Found a way to keep it alive. Ball up close to the boundary. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is not an effort out there at the minute. The game never reached any great heights, and it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. I think they're going to have to take a look at themselves after this performance. They just weren't quite good enough today, and it shows in the score. At the final siren, the score, the Dockers, 80, St Kilda, 49. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.